Hello, today we're going to speak about uncertainty. No better time to speak about uncertainty than an airport where everybody is uncertain of what's going to happen. Either, you know, if you go to the extreme bombings and terrorists and stuff like that, but also people that are afraid to lose their flights or uncertain about what is going to happen with their luggage or if they have the optimal weight of their luggage etc etc i wanted to do this video for a long time about uncertainty because it's something that i find really amazing really interesting to look at for a moment because so many people suffer with this kind of problem and this issue that really brings them stress and anxiety and i wanted to basically speak about it because i I started my work with uh, Tony Robbins many, many years ago and uh, in 2005 actually I did two courses with him. One of them, which is the UPW that many people have done it, know that um, he speaks about six human needs, you know, and, and these six human needs are vital for everyone to actually be able to survive in today's world. Two of them are actually opposite of each other. One is certainty, the other one is uncertainty. So in a way we need certainty so that we actually can have peace of mind not have so many of those hormones floating around such as cortisol and adrenaline that keep us awake at night and keep us out of our comfort zone and really create stress and anxiety. But at the same time, we need uncertainty because otherwise, uh, as Tony Robbins said many times, we get bored of life. And uh, you know, if we knew everything that is going to, was going to happen, we would come to a place of boredom. We would come to a place that life is not exciting anymore. Imagine if you would know everything that is going to happen in life. So there is a lot of things that can happen that give you this kind of uncertainty which is actually quite positive. But this is not exactly what I'm speaking about. What I'm speaking about is dealing with uh, anxiety and stress that comes from really getting into that space of uncertainty. So what are your first uh, thoughts about this? and uh, how do you actually deal with uncertainty? Well, for me, it has to do with mainly being able to discern what's going on inside you when you are uncertain. Basically, when you are uncertain, the main thing that can happen is that you have stress and anxiety because of the fear that you have with the future. So, you know, you get uncertain when there is no clue of what's going to happen in the future. And this brings this sense of fear, like, you know, what's going to happen? Am I going to be prepared? Am I going to follow through? Uh, are things going to fall into place? You know, all these fears, especially when, when people start their businesses or they go for an, an exam. So the best way to deal with it for me is actually to be able to let go of those feelings and those thoughts. And I work a lot with belief systems, as many of you know. And for me, working with belief systems is actually being very aware of what is the belief system that is limiting your perception and limiting your experience of life and changing it to a, an empowering belief system. A belief system that actually can support you in the best way possible. And this is the main thing that I work with my clients. You, know, you are uncertain because mainly you are telling yourself things that are limiting or you are picturing a very negative perspective of the future. The first thing is to really letting go of those thoughts and feelings. The second thing is to change those negative thoughts and feelings for empowering thoughts and feelings. And then thirdly, really to picture the best outcome possible. You know, we are taught to be pessimistic. And pessimism is actually quite a, an amazing tool because, you know, it makes you feel very real and re really like not putting your expectations too high but in actual fact if you do this then you can go into really negative thoughts and have a really negative experience when it can be differently really letting go of this aspect that things are not going to turn out right and really changing that perspective into something different and really being assertive i work a lot with uh, this different types of communication which psychology and coaching for instance is called modalities of communication and uh, there are mainly three modalities and the first one is uh, aggressive communication the other one is passive communication and of course then there is the assertive communication and it's very important to really 
know which kind of communication you are engaging with, not only with others, but with yourself. And this is very important to understand so that you can actually become assertive and discerning so that the communication can happen in the best way possible. And when this happens, then you look at the future and the present in a different way. You look in the future and the present in a way that is coherent, that is discerning, and it's really not focused on fear, expecting the worst. Of course, expecting the worst is actually an amazing tool because it allows you to be sure how to deal with the situations if things don't go your way. So it's always good to have a plan B, but it's also good to focus on the positive. And, and so this is, for me, the main things that I use to deal with uncertainty. Of course, there is nothing much that you can do with hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. So it's about not even controlling them or knowing how the release of those hormones can happen in a, in a balanced way. But it's about knowing what to do when those hormones are in high levels in your body and in your brain and basically flooding your whole system with this sense of restlessness, fear and discomfort, really not being able to create a balance inside your body, in your mind, in your spirit and your emotions. So I hope this helped you to tackle a little bit more uncertainty. Again, it's all about you and it's all about how you deal with yourself. It's all about how you actually sleep, you know, give yourself enough sleep so that hormones such as melatonin can actually help you balance all those other hormones and make you feel better inside. And if you want to perhaps get something else in your body that helps you balance those hormones, you know, try a little bit of dark chocolate or try going for an exercise, you know, do some exercise, drink plenty of water, put some good fluids inside your body so that your brain can work in the best way possible. I hope this helped you and here I am at the airport ready to fly and I really wish you to tackle uncertainty in the best way possible and if you don't and if you need some help please let me know. I would be happy and most grateful if you would reach out, send me a DM or send me an email and let me know how you feel and let me know how things are working out for you. I really appreciate you taking your time to listen to this video. Subscribe to my channel, like and um, share it with others. That would be amazing. That would mean the world to me. Bye-bye.